I'm getting everything set up to do the plug weld. This is the test piece here. Uh, MIG splatters all over the place. So, rather than clear out the shop, which I'll do when I start doing the main run, I'll probably open the door, push everything out in the driveway, and then, you know, have the big open area in the floor here kind of thing where I can uh, weld and not worry about the spatter getting stuck in cardboard boxes and stuff like that. So, but for now, I just want to plug weld all four pockets on one of these. And see how it goes. So, that's also one of the first times I'm going to use this table, uh, ground it here, and then just let it ground through the, the surface. Because I've got some final cleanup to do on it anyway. You know, sandblast it, whatever, wire wheel it. Uh, so that'll get rid of any pop marks or dark spots that get created from the arc jumping uh, off of here. So, uh, I'll be using these blue hands instead. Uh, you know, if I was just spot welding or whatever, kind of like what I do with the TIG and that stuff, I'll just do it the way I've been doing it. But this is going to generate a lot of heat. Uh, so I'll be wearing these. I'm going to spray the hell out of everything with the uh, spatter, spatter, anti-spatter shield spray. Okay, uh, the thing makes a loud hum, makes quite a bit of noise, so once I turn it on, I'm probably not going to talk too much. Oh, Hulk smash. <laughs> nope, they're not green. Pretty close on that one. Amazing. I need more light. I can't friggin' uh, see where I'm going. Now that one I went around the perimeter and uh, filled it up and then kind of worked on the outside there. Uh, I may try starting in the middle and working out. That's some hot shit. Oh, got a little pocket over there. Oh, got a little one here too. Well, I guess since they're getting ground, I'll touch them up now.
And that might be a bit more buildup than I want. I'm real curious too to see how they warp. It's really, really hot still. I'm going to uh, take it outside here in just a minute. So, I wanted to get an idea about how proud they stood. <laughs> you can see the, the black, whatever it is, mill scale. I, I'm not sure what it is. You can see it popping off there as it cools. So those are the two spots where I did the little touch-up. Um, that's how proud that one is. That one. So, kind of curious. Oh, man. That's perfectly flat across there. Which, which basically means that it didn't it didn't move. It uh, should have been fairly close to flat. I'll have to check the next one. Oh! Too bad this is one that's getting cut up. Oh, uh, that's nice and flat. And I can see me doing a little milling or grinding on the, the top of the, the uh, plug weld there. But, uh, hmm. Anyway, part I want to kind of put it up and see if I can get some feedback and opinions here uh, on it. And uh, go from there. I'm tickled pink. It, it uh, didn't move. Because that saves me the step of having to go back and machine it. You know, at least that's one thing that's, you know, gone in the right direction. Everything else has taken me way, way more work than uh, it would have. So I'm going to go park this outside so it can uh, cool down in the breeze about there. And... So it's the next day. I have, uh, it's thoroughly cooled down. I took a wire wheel, the buffer grinder uh, wire wheel, and cleaned up this side. Okay. Uh... Cleans up nice, you know, a little blotchy stuff like that. It takes uh, quite a bit of effort to uh, get everything uh, uniform with the uh, with the wire wheel or whatever. It did clean up. There's just a couple of edges that you know could still use a little bit of uh, finesse to get some of that slag out or whatever. But this is the other side. Now they were both, um, you know, this stuff right here, this this brown where it's the uh, anti spatter heated up. I have to find something. To Ugh. The whole table's greasy. I have to find something, to, a way to be able to clean that up when I'm uh, done. Okay, so then I hit this side with the... <laughs> you can see how dirty the table got it already. I cleaned this side up with the sandblaster, okay? Similar amount of time. I cleaned more surface area. You can tell I wasn't too worried about perfection, but I did hit the edges and that got all the, you know, most of the mill scale and stuff like that off there. Uh, you know, there's still a little bit there, a little bit over here. Uh, oh, this is a test piece. I'm going to cut it and destroy it, so I'm really not too concerned. You know, but it did get in and the sandblaster did a much easier, better job of getting the brown garbage off fr from the, uh, uh, the anti-spatter. And maybe Pam cleans up better, I don't know. So you can see, I just need to hit that a little bit longer. Uh, a little undercutting from the welding there. So I think what I'm going to do is one side, you know, one side, I know I'm going to just cut in half and look at the weld. Uh, but I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and uh, do the grinding. I think actually, you know, for the side I don't cut, maybe what I'll do is I'll grind one side and not the other. You know, and, and, and if it weren't for this, I mean, I wouldn't even actually have to grind that. I mean, this this side here, you know, I could knock that little dingleberry off and, and you know, just another one over here and uh, just, you know, send it out the door that way. Uh, you know, I'd probably have a steadier hand if I did this all the time, was a professional, but uh, 
Oh, uh, I'm not. So let's uh, let's see what it takes to destroy it.